shopping friends, it's me, your boy Charmer here. Welcome back to my channel. And guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek on my home gym. And hopefully, this video helps you out what to buy and what not to when it comes to building your home gym. So, guys, girls, I have been building my body for two years in the home gym. And as you can see, I made an awesome progress just by working at home. Guys, a lot of people think that you have to go to gym in order to build muscle and burn fat but actually you can do it home if you know how to do it and guys I have already shared lots of different exercises that you can do at home but in this video I'm gonna give a little bit of tour on my home gym and, and even more I'm gonna show you what to buy in order to make your home gym because a lot of people usually have no idea and they're buying many different things but they are not utilizing at all so you guys ready? Let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is that you have to buy cola fat. Now I have talked about this maybe a million times, but the cola fat is really versatile guys. So you can actually do a million different exercises just by using cola fat. For example, you can do curls, you can do the shoulder exercises, you can do you know, the back exercises. Anything goes with the pull-up band. You can make your workout easier by you know, hanging on the pull-up bar and do the pull-ups. The best option to practice your pull-up and this is really good for stretching. For example, when you're stretching your calves like this, you can do the stretching. And the good thing about this pull-up band is that this is really cheap and you can put it anywhere and nobody knows. Okay, so when you have to buy something for your home gym, the first thing you want to buy is the pull up band, okay? So it comes with uh, all different colors and you know it doesn't really cost all that much. So I strongly recommend you to buy the weaker one and the strongest one so that you can train your body with uh, many different resistance. Okay, so the next thing I want you to buy is that the pull up bar. Now guys, I have talked about this. It doesn't matter if you're boy, man, women, girls, I don't care, you have to be able to perform the pull -ups. Because the pull on incorporates so many muscles in the back and it's a time saver. You know, I have seen a lot of people wasting their time they're doing you know, dumbbell row, which is great, but you're gonna you're going to be able to build more muscle and stay at home time when you are able to do the pull-ups. So I want you to do the pull-ups and if you want to do the pull-ups, you have to have a pull-up bar. Now what you see here guys is a pull-up station, but actually there's a variation where you can mount it on the door. It's called a door mount pull-up bar. And if you are light and your door is a pull-up bar compatible, I want you to buy the pull-up bar that you can put onto the door and when you're done using it, you can just put it on anywhere. The reason why I'm having this is that I'm a big guy and I do the weighted pull-ups and I do weighted pull-ups like 45 pounds and I don't really trust the door mount all the much so that's the reason why I have this. And you really have to buy something super expensive. Don't spend more than $200 on you know buying the pull-up station. You can actually get a great deal for about $150 each. So when you have a pull-up bar, you can not only do the pull-ups like this and you can do the hanging leg raise which is really great for training your core, back, most of the upper body. So the next thing you want to buy for your home training after the pull-up band, buy the pull-up bar. And guys, like I told you, if you have a pull-up bar and a pull-up band, you can hook the pull-up band and make your pull-up that much easier. Okay, so pull-up bar should be your next home gym equipment. Right, the next thing you want to buy is a weight set. So what I have here is an adjustable dumbbells. So the reason why I have adjustable dumbbells instead of the weight fixed dumbbell like this is because you can actually swap out the weights that much easier and you can save a time and you can do a drop set or you can hit a different body part in a short period of time. And so if you buy the dumbbells like this, then you can change the weight, then you're gonna end up buying Lots of lots of sets of dumbbells and that's going to be wasting your money and that's going to be wasting your uh, space. So what I have here is I have actually a pair of 90 pounds. Okay, so the 90 pounds is actually getting lighter and lighter to me, but for people in general, it's gonna do the job. So you don't really have to buy this fancy stuff because this is kind of 
expensive. So what I want you to buy is that there's actually a dumbbell where you can screw off the weight and then you can actually change the weight. And usually those are cheap, but you can start using those dumbbells and move on to the power blocks that I have. And I want you to buy the dumbbells prior to buy barbells is that it's gonna end up taking so much space and guys when you buy barbells you're gonna have to have some place to hold your plate and guys if your house is really big and if you can afford all those weights it's up to you guys but as you can see I don't have any barbells instead because I want to save a lot of space and guys girls you can train your body without having to buy barbells and basically if you have dumbbells you can train your total body just as good that you would in a gym. Okay, so when you have dumbbells, of course you want to buy this bench. When you're talking about buying bench, I want you to buy incline bench. Now, when you have incline bench like this, you can actually do the incline press, and you can do all kind of row in a different angle, and you can train your arm better. So, if you have to buy bench for dumbbell exercise, go ahead and buy the adjustable bands to work out it's going to be that much bearing okay the last item I want to buy is a deep bar so the deep bar if you are not familiar with what this is is that this is an equipment where you can do the dips now there are points when you feel your push up is too, too easy and now then it's time for you to do what the dips so when it comes to dips you can do like this so work on your entire chest and when you're done this you can actually do the incline wheel like this so that you can train your back and build a strength so that you can move on to the pull apart. Now this is not a mandatory but having the deep bar is uh, recommended because this is a uh, real cheap. I got mine for like uh, 20 bucks and, and there's a lot of different exercises you can do like uh, leg raise like this and you can actually train your bicep by doing chin curls. Okay, so this is versatile, guys. And if you have extra money after spending your money on all the items I just showed, this is worth buying. Okay, so guys, this is everything I own for my home gym and. As you can see, I was able to build my body in home because I know how to utilize all this and make a whole new exercise. Guys, don't you worry, just because I have all the equipment that I showed you, there's actually a way to train just with your body made. And guys, girls, you already know what my training actually looks like. You can train your body just as good by doing body weight. So, don't be worried just because you have any of this equipment, it's okay. So, in summary, if you have to buy anything for your home gym, go ahead and buy things in order that I show you. And guys, girls, if you don't have any money, if you have only the space, it's okay. I'm gonna still show you the workout that you can do with your body weight. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope this video helps you out to build your own home gym and build a badass body with it. So, if you have any questions, just leave it down in the comment section below and I'll make a video or the comments for you. And always be channel guys. See you next time.